Burger King, just so we're all on the same page here. I'm never going back to your restaurant ever again. I went to Burger King, the drive-thru was full, so I walked in. I ordered my food, they asked me if I wanna pay extra for a bag. Pay extra for a bag? So you're really gonna let me walk out here, fries in one hand, drink in one hand, burger in my pocket, and apple pies in my socks, bro? Yeah, all right, cool. I'm never going back to Burger King ever again. I told them, bro. Y'all already know what's happening. You're watching Worldwide Spotlight back-to-back -back videos, and I'm telling everybody right now, this channel is still gonna run, but I'm gonna open a new channel. It's gonna cost $5, and if mans don't wanna pay, that's okay. That's fine, that's okay. You know why? I got the best content on the internet. You are so weak. Your girlfriend's gonna stay with you forever because you're so easy to lie to. Tusi's girlfriend told him there's this day called Galentine's Day where the gal them go out, have fun, drink liquor, smoke weed. Some of them will be there smoking cigarettes, 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 and then they go home and watch Netflix. Tusi, you don't know that your girlfriend's out with another man getting plowed? Like you are so- But that's the one holiday that you share with your partner. What's Samaria do? She talking about she fucking finna go celebrate Galentine's Day. What the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck is Galentine's Day? But she been told me this. I, I done had a, a week to prepare. And I still, <laughs> I don't lie, gang. I still can't wrap my head around it. Like, one day I was looking in the mirror like, damn, am I a fucking hater? Like, do I be hating? But in reality, it's like, no, some shit really don't be making sense. Yo, my G, you're in love and you're blind. And it will take over your mind. She's blind. And it'll take over your mind. Bro, you're so in love right now, she can walk through the door and tell you she's got to take off for a couple days. She's going to sleep over at her friend's house. And you're just going to sit there like... Well, you know what I mean? That sounds legit. You know what I mean? She's going to sleep at her friend's house for a couple days and come home. Sounds legit. I'm telling you, that shit ain't that special when you sharing that shit with somebody else, gang. You sharing that... I. I got to share, I got to share Valentine's Day with your friend. So G, you can find boxers under your bed right now that don't belong to you. And all she has to say is, Tusi, those are yours. Those six XLs, they used to be yours. You just got a little bit smaller. You don't remember? And you're going to be like, oh yeah, I used to be bigger. Those are, my, those are mine. Those are mine. Those are mine. Bro, you're so weak, bro. Get a life. I get Rapper, rich homie Kwan, let's be honest. There's not one person out there that wants a rich homie Kwan verse. Even if you got a rich homie Kwan verse, it's not going to make it on the radio. Nobody's going to play that. The last time this man had a hit was so 15 years ago. Some type of way, some type of way, make you feel some type of way. You remember that? Drop the top of my wheel, man. That Kwan driving make you feel some type of way. I know you. Anyways, Rich Homie Kwan knows his verses are not worth anything, so now he's trying to rap for some food. They got food at the cabana? They got food at the cabana, man. I rap for food right now, bro. I'm finna make me a sign. I rap for food. And this shit better be fine, too, bro. I know y'all don't usually hear me scratching like this. You know, it's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to get this money for some fish. Scratching, y'all. They got food at the cabana, man. I rap for food right now, bro. 
I'm finna make me a sign, I rap for food. Now on some real talks, rich homie Quan, I would buy you a meal from McDonald's for a verse, but I just don't, the way the economy's moving right now, I just don't know if I'm gonna make my money back. So keep hustling out there, try to rap for that fish. You know it's hard out here for a pimp when you trying to get this money for some fish. In the comment section below, how much would you pay right now for a rich homie Quan verse? The man is rapping for food right now. It's hectic out in these streets. Rapper, Boosie. Ain't no rules in the game, and these dudes, they didn't change. Sis ass niggas, most goons, now they lame. Jazz is out here snitching. I heard he snitching on a player main, say it ain't so. Even as a young and they consigned me to blow. According to RadarOnline.com, where rapper Boosie got arrested on a gun charge recently, the man was talking to the point he wants to suppress his statements that he made to the cops so they can't use those statements he said in court. Boosie, why do you want to suppress your statements that you made to the cops? Because you're in there snitching, bro. You're telling, you're snitching. You don't want everybody to know what you said to the cops and it's gonna come out. If Boosie doesn't get this suppressed, we're gonna find out all the snitching he did in the interrogation room. I heard he snitching on a player main, say it ain't so. Even as a young and they consigned me to blow. You watch a worldwide spotlight back to back videos. Go live, spotlight, pull up. You got one round in you, then man's gonna be on the floor. Cause man's is salt. Cause man's is salt. Cause man's is salt. Then man's gonna be on the floor. Then man's gonna be on the floor. Then man's gonna be on the floor. Cause man's is salt. Cause man's is salt. Cause man's is salt. Cause man's is salt. Cause man's is salt.